What's up, YouTube? Today we're back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making homemade biscuits. Um, I, I made homemade biscuits earlier this week and I didn't like the way they turned out. So that was a recipe, a different recipe than what I'm going to try today. So I decided to bring you guys along with me. So just stay tuned in and let's see how this turned out. We're going to do this together. So I'm, I'm going to be in it by myself. You guys will come along with me. Stay tuned in. Okay, and I'm back. So this recipe calls for uh, self-rising flour, uh, two cups of self-rising flour, and I have this brand here. You can just use whatever brand you have if, once you try to make it. Um, it calls for a stick of butter, cold, and it calls for a cup of buttermilk. So let me get my buttermilk and my butter out of this So I have my stick of cold butter, and the way I'm going to do it, the recipe that I saw, it's actually um, in the kitchen with Gina. I saw her make these biscuits, and I said, let me try it. But the only thing I'm going to do different is she didn't do this, because you know, self rising flour comes with the baking soda and the salt already added in with it. But I want to I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna keep trying this until I get it the way I want. I am gonna add a half of a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Just a half a teaspoon of it. Because I just want to make sure that it rise. You know, like I want to rise. And the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, pour half of this flour in here. Pop it in here. Oops, excuse me. I don't want to make all that noise. Just put half of that in here. We learn as we go, so. The, what I'm going to do with the remainder of this flour is I'm going to put it inside of my. Um, let me move this stuff for you, y'all. I'm going to put this flour that's in this cup inside of my food processor just to blend up the butter. I have a small one so I'm just going to add just a little bit of flour in with that. So I'll just, just stay tuned in you'll see how I do it. And I'll just try to walk you through it that way we can learn together. And so what I'm going to do now before I do that part is go ahead and add my go ahead and add the half a tablespoon of baking powder. So let me find that on here. It is. I'm going to add that on in with this here. Or should I put it in this? Because this is going to be blended. I think I'm going to put it in there. Just to make sure that it's blended up there. So I got a heaping half, heaping, heaping half a tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to pour it in here. And my next step is to, I'm not going to just throw the whole, the whole stick of butter in there. I'm going to cut it up just a little bit, just to make it look easier. So let's chop this up into, into little squares. Can y'all see that? Maybe I should move the camera. Maybe I look better. Okay, so let's cut this butter up. Push that in. I hope these biscuits turn out good because I told myself that I would try different recipes, you know, until I get it the way I like them. I used to watch my grandmother, and this butter is cold, so it's, you know, butter is already hard to cook, so y'all just bear with me. I used to watch my grandmother mix it with, um, she used to sit and, and make biscuits all the time. And it would be so good. 
she would sit there and she would because she mixed lard in with her. I tried it with the lard and I didn't really like that recipe, so I'm gonna do it for her today. Um, yeah, she used to sit and just mix and mix until she got to the consistency that she liked it, and then she would throw a little bit of flour on the can on the table, add that dough on there, and she would uh, roll it out till she get it the way she liked it. So I'm, I kind of remember how she did it, but I didn't ever get that recipe. So thank God for, for YouTube. So let's put these the, these up in little chunks. But first, let me go ahead and pour my. Let me add my flour in here. I'm gonna make a mess, but it's okay. That's why I got me a full of dish water with Clorox in. So I always tell you guys, when you cook it, always have you a. Uh, I just always have you a, a some dish water with Clorox in it. So I'm gonna do this. That's easier for me, y'all. Add this in here. I'm learning so I hope this turned out good. If you guys can see it, okay, you can just try it. Any mistakes made, then we can just try it again until we get it right. Right, this makes perfect, so. Process it, but I'm just gonna use what I have here. I'm just gonna cut it up that way it can be easier to um, blend in together. And this is a stick of butter, cold butter. So it needs to be cold. I promise you, I'm gonna do the full process. But Together. I mess up. I'm gonna let you guys see it that way. Um, you can try it again. You can keep trying it until you get the way you want it. And some people make them different. I've, I've, I have seen several videos of how to make. 